Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, how to easily defrost your freezer. Right, let's get cracking. This tip should also work for fridges that have a freezer compartment at the top. And I'm gonna need my glasses for this. Oh, I feel like Spider-Man. Now what you're gonna need today is a kettle, not only for hot water, but also to make a lovely cup of tea. And you're also going to need an ice scraper. If you haven't got one of these, use a wooden spatula or something. But don't ever, ever be tempted to use a metal knife because you don't want to damage the inside of the freezer. And don't be tempted to use a hairdryer because the extreme heat can damage your freezer. You're going to need some freezer bags to put your food in. And also it's worth having an old towel or a sponge just to mop up any excess water. The first thing you must do is switch off the freezer and unplug it. You don't want the freezer being on while you're defrosting it. Now let's open up the freezer. And this obviously is not a frost free freezer because look at all the ice on it. This is really bad. It's almost getting to the point where you can't shut the door. So I'm going to take all my trays out and there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC gutters or window frames so they stay clean. And then what you're doing is you're putting all your food into your freezer bags. They're only going to have to be in there for no longer than half an hour. And the final thing is my chippy whippy whippies. Oh, do like chips, especially egg and chips, preferably crinkle cut. And you can comment down below on what is your favorite freezer food item. Mine is chips. The kettle is nice and hot now. You don't want to use absolute boiling water, so turn it off before it reaches boiling point. And then what you do is you fill up one of the food trays with the hot water. As I said earlier, do not use absolutely boiling water because you don't want to melt the plastic. Then get that first tray in at the bottom and close the freezer door and all the heat and steam from that water will start melting all the ice. If you haven't got trays in your freezer, you can use an old washing up bowl. I'm just gonna fill up the next tray with some hot water. Get that one in. And you're basically doing this for every single tray in your freezer compartment. There's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. And then what you're doing is, once all those trays are in there with all the hot water, close the door and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. And all the ice will start melting and falling back down into those trays. Now I'm just gonna take my ice scraper start hacking away. There we go, we've already got a big block of ice that's fallen straight off. Just chuck that in the sink. Take the top tray out first and go from top to bottom as you're scraping it. Then all the ice falls into the lower trays. And then use your ice scraper just to start scraping off all the ice. And it should just fall off. And you can put that in the sink or just let it fall through into the trays. Now there's a reason you do not use a metal knife because those cooling elements inside the freezer, if you split those or damage those, then it's game over for your freezer. But just using a plastic ice scraper, you're not gonna damage any of that. And there's a link above now about how to clean your dishwasher to keep it hygienically fresh. Once you've got rid of all the ice, then take a nice clean cloth and just a bit of fairy liquid or any washing up liquid will do. And just give it a bit of a clean inside and on the inside of the door. You shouldn't use really any detergents in here. So it's just a bit of hot soapy water. Once you've given it a good clean, then take a nice dry cloth and just dry it all off. Make sure it's completely nice and dry. You don't want any excess water in there. Looking good. And then while the trays are out, you might as well give those a nice wash. Again, just some hot soapy water. And then it's time to put your food back. Oh, chips. So let's load it all up. So all the trays are back in with the food and look at that, that is looking absolutely fantastic. And when you compare with what that was like before, 
you can see the difference and that means your freezer is going to be working more economically. And finally of course don't forget to plug the freezer back in and switch it on. If you found that video useful please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel everyone. I really really appreciate it.